Okay, there we go. Now loaded. Hey everybody, Vice here. Welcome back to Let's Play the SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game for PC. Last time we controlled Plankton and helped him get the crown stolen. And now in this part, we're in chapter we're starting chapter three and we gotta go find the Krabby Patty Mobile for SpongeBob, which is actually gonna be a little bit tricky here to do. Congratulations on the promotion. A lot of good it does me with Mr. Krabs frozen. Who's gonna sign my new and improved paychecks? To show that there are no hard feelings, I'd be more than happy to sign your paychecks. But Bob, you really are a knucklehead McSpasmatron. Mm. So I need to get to Shell City quickly. I'm gonna use Mr. Krabs' patty mobile to get there. What do you think about that? I think all pedestrians should be put on high alert. Me too! <laughs> Do you know where Mr. Krabs keeps the patty mobile? It's in an underground tavern beneath the restaurant. You can get to it through the kitchen, but you need a pass card to use the elevator. Barnacle, oh. where can I get one? Well, as manager, I was issued a pass card just today. Woo! Can I have it? No, you can't. But I need it! I lost it, okay? I was cleaning the table, and it must have fallen out of my pocket. There were a couple of kids in here earlier, a boy and a girl. I bet one of them took it. Barnacles. Don't Great. Mr. Krabs, if he ever gets unfrozen, that is. Well, goodbye, Manager Squidward. I have to go save Mr. Krabs now. Ha! Yes, well, good luck. I'm sure you can't possibly fail. Hey, you're right. Thanks, Squidward. <laughs> Okay, so that's gonna be a thing. Mr. Krabs sure has collected a lot of worthless junk over the years. So we gotta go find out where those two kids went that probably have the pass card. And here. Three sauces again from the Employee of the Month game, and some tongs on the wall here. Tongs, an essential component of any chef's apron pockets. Mm. The fryer isn't working. In the commotion of the Krusty Krab 2 opening, nobody even noticed. I'm surprised you, of all people, just noticed. As he walks through that, okay. Well, that's where the pass card is. Where pass card needs to go. The barrel is empty. Well, that could put someone's eye out. Looks like it needs a pass card to use the elevator. Looks like it needs a pass card to use the elevator. Okay, so the same message there, okay. Climb back up. Somehow. <laughs> That's a support scene. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, well, now we're getting dialogue from the other game. Uh. Uh oh. It's familiar looking guy again. That's a support scene. Pretty neat, huh? Hi! You look familiar. Where have I seen you before? I come in here every day, and you say the same thing to me every day. That probably explains it. Mm, no, no, I don't think that's it. Did you go to driving school last summer? Or the summer before? Or last fall? Or winter? Or spring? Basically, have you ever been to driving school? I'm there pretty much all the time. No, never. Ever driven a car? Yes. Aha, uh -huh, that must be it. I must have seen you driving around town. Hey, sure, whatever. <laughs> You know, Mr. Krabs was frozen by King Neptune because his crown was taken to Shell City. I'm going to go get it and save the day. I've heard rumors to that effect. So what are you doing standing around here talking to me? Why don't you get Krabs' patty mobile and get going? I plan to. There are a few things I need to do first, though. Well, don't take too long. I've heard he doesn't have much time. Oh, boy. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know where the patty mobile is, would you? Well, I'm no gossip, but I've heard it's parked in an underground lair right beneath this very restaurant. Thanks! Hey, 
this new crusty crab looks much better than the old one, don't you think? Uh, actually, this is the old crusty crab. Oh, you sure about that? Barely. I'm gonna get going. Uh. Have a good day. Hey, with you gone, how could I possibly have a bad day? That's the spirit. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, let's take the crusty crab. And let's see if it actually is the old one. Yep, it's the first one. Okay. No, there's a repairman again. He's probably not happy with us. Turn on loudspeaker. Hmm. Hey, it's you. Good to see you didn't have a heart attack. Please, don't go scaring me again. I'm in quite a state. Yeah, well. You were terrible at doing your job. And guess what we're going to do anyway? <laughs> the good old crusty crab. I wish I could look at it without remembering the humiliation. <laughs> but yeah, we basically get to torture the t the phone TV. I mean the phone repairman constantly in this game apparently. Uh, let's see. I look at it. Brand new crusty crab too. It looks kind of familiar. I mean it should. And then immediately back to smiling. <laughs> wow, you're Perch Perkins, the news reporter. Why, yes, I am. How nice for you to meet me. So, what are you still doing here? Isn't the report over? Well, yes and no. Part of being a good news reporter is being able to anticipate events. But I think Mr. Krabs getting fried will be the story of the week. Oh, well, if that's why you're here, you can just go home. I'm gonna save him. Me and my buddy Patrick are going to go get the crown back from Shell City. Don't be offended, but I think I'll take my chances. Yeah. If I save Mr. Krabs, will you do a hero piece on me? Hmm. Hero pieces don't skew as well as deep fried crab pieces. But perhaps... Who knows? Just me. Well, that basically means no. <laughs> Mr. Krabs and all that, you know. Yes. Well, good luck with that. Well, you were still being sarcastic, but it was nice to compare to everyone else. And that doesn't really tell us much about where those kids are yet. Uh, especially crab too. Nope. There's one of the kids right there. Um This crusty crab looks exactly like the other one. Genius. Except that clock is going fast. And I think the and I think the other one was I think the one at the original crusty crab was also not moving at all though. Mr. Crab sure has collected a lot of worthless junk over the years. Mr. Krabs wouldn't want me snooping around in his office when he's not here. Hmm. Well, let's enter the kitchen of this one. No. Nope. That's hot oil. Really hot. Ow! Okay. That's just the sink. Sludge, but it's fresh sludge, so it's okay. So it's basically. Like, is basically your version of Plankton's Chum, except it's sludge, so it's quote unquote not as bad. Hello there, little girl. Hi. What are you doing? I'm standing. Wow, me too. Yep. Hey, have you seen a card with little holes punched in it lying around? Oh, you mean the super powerful magic plastic thingy? Uh, maybe. You seen it? Yep. Do you have it? Nope. Morty has it. Oh. Who's Morty? My friend. Do you know where he is? He went to Goofy Koopas. He said he wanted some weird ice cream. Thanks. I'm gonna go. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay, so we gotta go to Goofy Goobers to get... 
get the card. And I think we can just, yep, go to Goofy Goobers. Hmm. And this walking transition. Look at smokestacks. That can't be good for the ocean. No. No, it's not. So can you go to country line? I can't go any further on foot. That would be crazy. And I've already done six crazy things today. That's my limit. Wait. So you are smart, you just act dumb. Is that what you're saying? Okay. That's a little suspect. Nope. Familiar guy is here now. Popcorn. I don't want any right now, though. Let's talk to him. Okay. Walk to stage. I don't think that clock is working correctly. But the one but the ones of the crust both crusty crabs looks perf is acting perfectly fine. Well, I bet you get people going a little goofy in here all the time. Not really. Yesterday was a banner day, though. There was you, and then there were these two guys that work at the gas station on the county line. They were making quite a scene. Oh, yeah. Ah, what were they doing? So they were here. Sitting on the table, singing really, really loud. One of them insisted I give him the sheet music to the Goofy Goober theme song. I mean, really. They were a bit old for that sort of thing. Bye, Goofy Goober. I'll be hmm. soon. I promise. <laughs> Bye, little Gooberian. Don't forget to buy something before you leave. Yeah, yeah, marketing. <laughs> but yeah, it's <laughs> like, you don't believe me. Does the situation. Oh. Leave. And also, the game just froze there for a second for some reason. Super Magic Fairy Card of Power. I found it at the Krusty Krab. Ooh, can I have it? No, I found it. It's mine. I'll be your bestest, most friendliest friend. Uh, no thanks. Hmm. Isn't there anything I can do to get you to give me that super califragilisty that thingy? Hmm. I guess I might trade it for some fried ice cream. Fried ice cream. Fried ice cream. Hey, don't knock it till you've tried it. Hmm. So, fried ice cream, huh? Yep. Okay, I'm on it. Good luck. They don't make it here. Well, I gotta go. Important matters demand my attention. Out of all the different ice creams they make here, fried ice cream, I'm surprised isn't one of them. Also, I've never tried fried ice cream, and I don't know if I'm ever really going to. Also, it sounds very dangerous to make. Uh Look at all the candy. But after last night, looking at candy makes me feel a little nauseous. I'm not surprised. It's a cane and a hat. They aren't mine though. That's an odd assortment of pictures. That's an odd assortment of pictures. Oh, let's talk to him. He's probably not gonna be happy with us. Hi! Oh, it's you. 
I remember you. Did you get the carpet cleaning bill yet? Ah, oh, the other day. That was fun. Huh? We ate some ice cream. <laughs> and we were singing. Fun? I was here all night cleaning up after you. Kindly don't do it again. Hm. One order of fried ice cream, please. We don't make fried ice cream. Well, what do you make? Unfried ice cream. <laughs> right, Skipper, one unfried ice cream cone. One unfried. <laughs> Boneless pizza. <laughs> Here you are. And after last night, one is your limit. And don't call me Skipper. I'm off. Thanks, Barky. Hey, any day you don't throw up on the bar is a good day. <laughs> it was really bad. Do so we have ice cream? But it's not fried. What? Uh oh. Uh, I think it's the Krusty Krab Two. We need to go in. Because if this is the correct one, it should have the boiling oil in here. Yeah. So use the tongs on the ice cream. And we put in the deep fryer. Or not deep fryer, but ice cream cone. No for taste. <laughs> yeah, really no accounting for taste. Though, as far as I'm aware, that is technically how you're supposed to do it, but you're supposed to add, like, you're supposed to, like, make the ice cream into whatever shape you want, like the cone and whatnot. Like, completely put it in the freezer and completely, like, deep freeze it, and then quickly get a very clean pot of boiling oil and then deep, deep dunk it in there for, like, a few seconds and then or for like maybe a minute and then that's how you have deep fried ice cream or something like that but you also cover it in also like before you even freeze it put it in also in like chocolate and some kind of coating then freeze all that then dunk it in the thing at least i think that's how that works so despite being this being a cartoon that was sort of Kinda how it works? I think? I don't know, I've never had, like I said. Uh, here you go. Here you go, kid. One fried ice cream cone. Hooray! Crunchy and creamy! Gimme! Can I have that pass card now? Uh, yeah, take it. Wow, I'm actually almost done with this already. I I don't know why I was thinking there was like one or two more things I needed to do first. Anyway. Back to the Krusty Krab 1, because now we got the pass card we can use to get in there. What if we give it to Squidward? That won't work. <laughs> Mr. Krabs doesn't trust people enough. <laughs> and elevator. Um, this is no time for darts. 
No darts? Okay. And there's nothing else. Hello, Mr. Manager, sir. How did Patrick get in here? There sure are a lot of lights around here. Just to really show that the cry Playmobile's there. Oh, what have you right. With SpongeBob? What are you talking about, Patrick? SpongeBob, I know, is defiant in the face of insurmountable odds. He's what? In the face of what? I don't know. The point is, you shouldn't give up so easy. We're a team and we won't quit. Never! You're right, Patrick. Why should I let these little setbacks get me down? Together, we can accomplish anything! Like I said, there's a couple of voice lines that were that they took right again from um employee of the month game and reused it for here and that was one of them hello again patrick hey you spongebob what about a heated pool that'd be nice huh uh -huh. oh oh yeah anything you say spongebob oh forget it okay apparently talking to patrick here just redoes those voice lines from the other game so in that case let's just get in the patty mobile then to go. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now, Patrick. Feel the wind in your hair. That's the taste of freedom in your mouth. I thought it was a bug. Ew. And that's it for chapter three. Huh. Our friends have successfully obtained the Patty Mobile. This should make their journey to Shell City much easier. Sacre bleu. What is this? <laughs> Shortly after crossing the Bikini Bottom County line, our friends are stopped by a thug who demands that they give him the Patimobile immediately. Our friends put up a valiant fight. But alas, in the end, they are no match for the vile ruffian. So, it would seem they are back to square one. Oh, no! Oh, wait. No, it is. Oh, right. It's that doesn't count as the end of the chapter. We're still going. This is still chapter three right now. It's a gas pump. I forgot that's a thing where it's still going. Yep, we're still in chapter three. We just did part one of it. Okay. Tougher than you can handle. Ain't that right, Floyd? <laughs> <laughs> These guys are getting on my nerves. <laughs> so, what have you fellas been up to? Not much. It's enough fun just watching poor saps like yourself try and survive over the county line. Oh, but we did go to Goofy Goobas last night. That was fun. Okay, so you two were there. Which means you guys have sheet music for that song then. I did not. Yes, you did. And you hugged Goofy Gooba and told him he was your best friend. And then I got upset because I thought I was your best friend. And then pay no attention to him. And then you got the sheet music to the Goofy Gooba thing. Cause you said you wanted to go home and only play it on your harmonica. I don't harmonic. have a harmonica. Harmonica. <laughs> Sure. Well, then, why don't you empty your pockets? You're still wearing the same pants. I bet the sheet music is still in there. Don't be ridiculous. Excuse me for a moment. He even said that Goofy Gooba was his hero and that he wanted to be just like him. Where did he go? It wasn't that long. Okay, I'm back. No sheet music in my pockets. I have no idea what you're talking about. And I think we should stop talking about it right now. Did you just throw away the sheet music? I am never speaking to you again. I'm off! You ain't gonna last ten seconds over the camera line. 
<laughs> oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Yeah, let's then go in there. Wow, sure is a lot of junk in here. That reminds me. I'm tired. Boo. <laughs> he doesn't say anything about that, apparently. It's sheet music for the Goofy Goober song. Who in their right mind would throw this away? Hmm, I wonder who. <laughs> Okay, now we go. That's not what I wanted to do. What about a heated pool? That'd be nice, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, yeah, anything you say, SpongeBob. Oh, thank And apparently I don't know what the skip button is, apparently. Go to the Thug Tug. Cell City, only five days away. My car. Oh. guy who took it probably has the keys near him. Let's just march in there and take them. Patrick, I think we're going to have to be <laughs> a little more sneaky than that. Maybe if we distract him. Yeah, distract him. Then we can take the keys while he isn't looking. Sounds like a great idea. Okay, let's get to it, buddy. Ooh, motorcycles. Nope, not a smoking one there. You don't want me to look at that, but look at the very small one right there. That still makes the loud noise of that one, though. Okay. Ooh, motorcycles. Our car. We have to figure out a way to get it back. The guy who took it probably has the keys near him. Yep. Okay, let's enter the place. I gotta go to the bathroom. But Patrick, what about the... Distraction. Barnacles. It's a bottle. It's a bottle. It's a bottle. It's a bottle. It's, it's a, a bottle. bottle. <laughs> Just the very short and simple. It's a bottle. Is amusing to me how very quick that dialogue goes. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so he doesn't want to talk to any of them. I like how they're doing that, like you're supposed to be flipping a coin, but they didn't even bother putting a coin there for him to flip. Walk to bar area. Nails. Can't look at. Thug. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> and he constantly does the animation when you do it, too. I don't think so. <laughs> Wait. Hold on, let me see that. Why is there... Hold on. I'm gonna click it and then zoom in and dance on that. Why does it look like it have red dots in it? That's worrying. Uh... Anyway, uh... Talk to the bartender. Hello, Marky. Nice place you've got here. No, it isn't. It's a nasty place. But we'd like to keep it that way. I can tell by well, what was in the barrels. Ahead. What do you want? In case you didn't notice, I'm in a bad mood. May I please have some ice cream? <laughs> ice cream? Only babies eat ice cream. You're not a baby, are you? Uh, no. I mean... I'm not so sure about that myself. Watch your step or you'll end up squashed. We deal with babies in a most unpleasant way. I'm gonna look around your beautiful establishment if you don't mind. Ooh, bust up the red carpet for Mr. Fancy Talk. Boy, I oughta. Okay then. Uh, walk to the full table. And the Pagmobile key is a golden spa golden spatula. Okay, that's actually clever. Um I don't think so. Hi there, large person. What do you want, Runt? We're playing a game here. Hmm. Do you know what I hate? 
sandy feet. Cause then you get sand in the bed, and you can never get it all out, and there's always this one last grain. And no matter how much you shake, see. Oh, beat it before I beat you. Did you ever visit Muscle Beach? You probably work out there. <laughs> Muscle Beach, don't make me laugh. I get all the work that I need beating on people. In fact, you're tempting me to launch into a few reps right about now. Yeah, you know, I go there sometimes. Work on the lats and pecs and uh, fingers. Great. Why don't you go to <laughs> In the fin I get all fingers. Well, I should let you get back to your bullying. Yeah, if you know what's good for you, which I doubt you do. Uh, exercise? Uh. <laughs> Rip. Uh, walk to the bathroom. Don't talk to Patrick because it's the same dialogue stuff again. There's no soap in the thing. Uh, we still haven't talked to you two yet. Hi there, mister. I mean, misters. Hello. What are you two doing? We're drinking rusty dirt water and trying to remember the words to a song. Oh, yeah? What song is that? That's none of your business. Is it the Goofy Goober song? Yes. No, I don't mean maybe. Why? You know it? I know most of it. Want me to teach it to you? No, if someone hears, we'll get in trouble. Maybe I can find another way to show it to you. You do that. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> Here you go, fellas. Cheap music. music. Here you go. Goofy Goober theme song. Enjoy. Shh, you have to say that so loud. Thanks. I think doing that over there helps distract the um people with the event we're about to do. But uh, you just said drinking rusty's rusty water. That's why there are red dots in that in that liquid in the barrel. Yuck. Hello again. I'm back. Still alive, huh? Surprising. Hey, the soap dispenser in the bathroom is out of soap. My hands are kind of dirty. You think you can refill it? You're lucky I don't refill you. What? Rip with a pipe and hot butt whooping. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. Very. Well, squeeze me dry and call me Gerald. It works. What? <laughs> Random quotes, I don't know. Slowly walking. Okay. Look around your beautiful establishment if you don't mind. Ooh, must have the red carpet for Mr. Fancy Top. Boy, I oughta. Okay, now that he filled the soap dispenser. And these guys are here to help distract them. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. And then suddenly we can't talk to them anymore now because of that. I just stuck to the right, the left, left. Let's grab the keys while he isn't looking. Good idea. Yeah, you don't even have to grab the key. It just so, having reclaimed the makes progress the for you. Right. SpongeBob and Patrick are once again on their way yeah. to Shell City. Meanwhile, Neptune's daughter Mindy has been grounded. Help her get out of her father's castle so she can help our heroes. Chapter 4, Free Mindy. And that's literally what we'd have to do. I have to find a way out of here. Maybe I can commandeer Daddy Seahorse carriage. It's very fast. And I need to get to SpongeBob and Patrick as quickly as possible. Okay, so yeah. We have to get to play as Cindy. Er, not Cindy. Mindy. Trying to get out of the castle here.
anyway this has been vise and i'll see you guys next time when we start chapter four and get out of here out of this castle bye bye for now